Hey guys, I'm Tamisha from Toolbox Divas and today I'm going to show you how to build deck railings using inexpensive fencing wire. So I've always liked the look of hog panel deck railings. However, hog panels are crazy expensive. One panel could run you $40 to $60. And for a deck my size, that could run me a couple of hundred dollars alone just in paneling. So I've come up with a solution where I use inexpensive PVC coated poultry wire or fencing wire to create the look of hog wire deck railings. So I'm so excited today to show you how to build these deck railings. And today's video is sponsored by The Home Depot. All right, let's get dirty. It's important that you know that you don't need any fancy tools to complete this deck railing. You don't need a router and you don't need a dado blade to go with a table saw. You can really use just a circular saw to complete the cuts. These instructions are per panel. The overall length will be decided based upon your individual deck. So first we're going to start by installing the individual 4x4 posts. The post height from the floor of the deck is 39 inches. To secure the 4x4s in place, you want to notch about an inch inward into the 4x4 using the circular saw so that it will lock into place. Fasten the 4x4s using power lag screws. Next, we're gonna attach the lower two by four rails. I recommend creating two inch spacers using the excess four by four posts. You want to place the two by four in the center of the beams and ensure that it's level before you attach it. So initially when I created the plans, I had thought that the upper railing would be best suited in an upright position. Once it was in place, I saw a flaw in my design. The railing cap had no support, which would eventually lead it to cup over time. So in the third step, you want to lay the upper railing flat three inches from the top of the beam. Ensure that it's level and then place the railing cap up top of the two by four railing. The railing cap should be flush with the inside of the deck, which means you will have about a two inch overhang on the outer part of the deck railing. So again, this tutorial is per panel. However, I'm redoing the deck railings for my whole deck. So in order to create a seamless look, I recommend creating a notch in the railing cap for each four x four post. This will provide a cleaner, more finished look. You just wanna make sure that it is a nice snug fit before you secure it to the upper railing. One optional thing that you could do to finish off the railing caps is you can give it an angled edge using the miter saw or a circle saw. Finally, we're assembling the wire paneling for the center inserts. To create the wire insert, I'm using simple two by two lumber and screwing it together. Then using a staple gun, you want to staple the wire mesh to the frame and cut the excess wire. I then went back using a hammer and made sure I securely nailed the staples into the frame. And as you secure the wire fencing to the other sides of the frame, you want to make sure that you pull it tight so that there isn't any type of sag in the middle. Now to cover those staples. Using a track saw or a table saw or circular, I'm cutting thin strips from the two by sixes. And then using a nail gun and galvanized nails, we are then nailing the strips to the back of the wire panel. This will cover the staples as well as the ends of the wire fencing. Now each panel will be 29 inches high, but the width of the wire panel is determined by the overall panel within each deck section. The wire panel should be three inches 
from each side of the 4x4 post. Screw the panels in from the top and from the bottom. And now for the final step, using caulking, exterior caulking, attach the post caps to each of the 4x4 posts. Press down and you guys, we are done. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of these fabulous DIYs. And for more information and details on the deck railing, you can find the link listed below in the description column. And don't be shy, follow us on social media at Toolbox Divas on Facebook and Instagram. All right guys, till next time.